Finally here at 5, the booming cruise ship industry in the city has some concern about what they're doing to the air we breathe. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch has more now on a push to power ships at port from shore. Chopper 2 glides over Manhattan en route to the cruise ship terminal on the west side. In port at Pier 88, the Norwegian Gem, one of hundreds of cruise ships that find safe harbor in the city before heading out to sea. Mostly from Manhattan, but some from Red Hook, Brooklyn. Last year there were 214 cruise ships docked uh, in our city. And when they dock, they keep the engines running. Comptroller Scott Stringer tells us it's a big pollution problem and one that is likely to get worse. The NY cruise expansion includes fixing docks to make way for more vessels, bigger ones too. According to Stringer, a ship idling for one day emits as much exhaust as 34,000 tractor trailers. I think that there need to be strict rules on what cruise ships can do when they're here. Maya Joseph owns Sullivan Street Bakery, lives in Hell's Kitchen, is raising her daughter here. I'm all for increasing tourism, but if it comes at the cost of our kids getting asthma and our neighbors getting cardiovascular disease and cancer, that's not okay. Adds she was thrilled to learn about Scott Stringer's letter addressed to the city's Economic Development Corporation, or EDC. The letter reads in part, communities bordering the cruise ship piers have had to suffer the impact of their proximity to this source of pollution for too long. Rather than keep the engines idle, keep the engines running, you would basically plug into a system that essentially would stop this pollution. In response, the EDC tells us that addressing the environmental implications of ships at port is a priority. A feasibility study should begin soon to explore expanding shore power connections. From Pier 88 on the west side, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.